Hi there, Robin here, and today we're going to talk about the Pyramid PS9KX. It is a regulated power supply. So a lot of people end up buying this type of product as an afterthought. Uh, they've gone out and maybe bought a brick like this uh, to run a project and then realize that they're not getting the performance or, or consistency that they're looking for out of this. I mean, this is very reasonable. These guys cost about twice as much, if not more amperage wise but more importantly is these bricks tend to be 12 volts or at least that's what we think of first when we're trying to buy one so why are we buying it a lot of times we have a head unit a radio something like that that was some accessory for your car whatever it is and you want to run it on ac so we go out and say i'm going to buy one of these guys and you do that and the problem is is that it's lacking power it's lacking volume or sound out of it and you're going i can't really figure it out and it has to do with a lot of times this isn't power on demand it's it's basically constant so if you turn on it this on some led lights or an accessory and it runs at you know 45 watts it's happy to stay there and no problem but if you have something that's constantly going up and down uh, especially high responsive like a radio uh, then it's going to fall short also you can end up with background noise with a regular power supply when you have a regulated power supply which also has what they call low ripple to it now for some reason that's where the noise seems to lie and when it's a low ripple power supply we don't have those problems some technical thing that i'm not 100 percent sure of how it works but i do know that when i have it I don't have problems. If I don't have a low ripple power supply, I tend to have these issues. Now, another thing that's important about this is that it runs, its output is 13.8 volts, which is the sweet spot for car audio gear. That's where it would really wants to run. It can run as low as about 10 and a half and can run as hot as about 15, but at 13.8, that's the sweet spot. It's also the balancing point on an actual car battery. That's important to have as well. Now, this particular one, the PS9K also offers you a accessory adapter output. So if you have anything like an ATV speed, speaker or anything else that runs off of a lighter adapter and you need to test it or work with it you can plug that in right here again this is a great hobby amp to have in the garage it makes things work and it makes things work properly just like it would if it was in a vehicle so if you think of any accessories that you want to take back and forth or maybe you just need to be able to work with it or like i used to i used to have one of these kind of guys in the garage to run a boom box that was made out of you know car speakers and an old car radio this is how you get it to work really well also take note that these guys do come in a whole variety of sizes. This just happens to be probably one of the most popular one because of the lighter adapter and it gives you just enough power to make things work. So five amp constant with a seven amp surge. So if it needs to go up a little bit, no problem. This replaces the need to have a power supply and some sort of capacitor or battery backup. So if you're looking for an actual proper power supply to run your radio from your car, then this is definitely the way to go. And remember all kinds of other things. It, this is really targeted for people who have hobby rooms and shops. You can have this for an electric race car track or a train set. This is the proper kind of power supply. It's thermal regulated to not overload. And it also works well for everything else from scanners and CB radios. If you've got 12 volt car audio gear or any 12 volt accessory proc that you want to run this is this is where you definitely start off with well i hope this video helped you in your buying decision today again i'd like to say thanks for watching maybe we'll see you in the next video bye for now